That is an amazing work of art we've discovered. The surface of tea, hot tea. It's Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. And I am your host, Alex Jones. Coming up in about 45 minutes, we're going to be live on the radio at InfoWars.com forward slash show. And over 230 plus affiliates across the country, a lot of them 50,000 waters. It's just a testament that we're now some of the biggest stations in the country from underground uh, to dominating. I, I still love our mom and pops. Some stations like WBCR in Knoxville have been carrying me 16 years, 17 years. Uh, some stations in upstate New York, Dr. Wolf stations, you know, he's, he's passed, but his son runs them. They've been carrying us 18 years. So here's the Dr. Wolf, uh, a great uh, Christian Jewish American who really helped me early on get the word out. Now, there's a lot of angles to cover here, obviously. But here's the deal. The media keeps saying Trump's following my talking points. No, he's not. Trump's following the truth. He's advised by top experts, generals, Steve Bannon, you name it. I want to take the credit. Maybe 2% of what Trump does is because I talk to him or whatever. Literally, maybe 5%, 10% so you, the listeners, on, you know, out on the campaign trail talking to him. He would see like a third of the shirts being Infowars. Sure. But I'm letting the mainstream media know. Quit obsessing on this. And see, they all think Machiavelli. They think, oh, we must be hurting Trump by saying denounce Alex Jones over and over again. No, you're not. Trump's not stupid. He knows you're a joke. He knows you said Hillary was invincible. He knows you lied. But now they've had me in USA Today, the Associated Press, Reuters. When I say hundreds of newspapers, that's conservative because I get Google alerts every article I'm in. It's thousands a day. I can't even go through 5% of it. And they keep saying Trump picked up the lie of Alex Jones that 3 million illegals voted. You can pull the articles up where the federal government admitted that there in past elections like 5 million illegals vote. It was estimated 3 million this election that they know of, and upwards of 4 million dead people voting. Uh, they've had other big Pew Research. In fact, I want to play this today when I'm live in 45 minutes. I found out something like 22 million dead people are registered to vote. They caught people all over. And, and the media made jokes and said, how did dead people vote Trump, thinking their constituents, their readers are dumb, their viewers are dumb? So I get into the office, I'm already called Nico. They're, they're queuing up the clips where they went, have you heard the latest? Trump says dead people vote. Like it's day of the dead. No, you go to the obituary and they get a list of people that are dead and they check it with voter rolls with a computer Then they give people the names of where to go vote up to 10 times a day. You have the head of New York elections admitting this happened, remember? Uh, the mayor fired him last week as he exposed it. We have all the Project Veritas videos admitting their plan to do it. So they think their readers are dumb in the New York Times, Washington Post, and they go, where's your proof that illegals vote? Where's your proof that dead people rose from their graves and voted? So this is the weird crap they pulled. And this is why they're so discredited. You know, I thought mainstream media would back off being so arrogant. They didn't. Their biggest weakness is their arrogance. But they're not, they're just getting worse. And my good friend, Pat Riley, who's here with us, uh, with Buckley, he, he lives in East Austin and, and, and he, he took a vacant lot, built a house, you know, he's gentrifying the area. He wore his Trump is my president limited edition shirt, it's almost sold out at InfoWarsStore.com. And that is a plug, when he's a sport. And he got threatening looks, harassed yesterday. That's happened to me coming to East Austin, but I'm still here, I don't care. We're gonna hold the fort. Uh, but it just shows the people that followed this line, they don't know why it happened. They're so freaked out. They believe all the propaganda they heard. They're really victims of brainwashing and of not of being raised industrially in cribs, not being home with their mother and father. And I'm not being sarcastic. These are our real problems. Too much television, not being uh, connected to the land, not being farmers. We're losing our humanity. We've got to discover it again. And we have to understand America's about having opposing views and being able to debate things, being able to discuss things. Is Trump doing things that are wrong? Yeah. He made the globalists mad, though, because he's a nationalist. They're scared of him. He wants to do better trade deals, lower taxes. Does he misunderstand iPhones? The FBI didn't want just the one iPhone code. They want everybody's iPhone code. Is he wrong about torture? Yeah, but at least he's honest and he's for it. For ISIS. I'm not, because you, you turn into what you're fighting. Uh, is he wrong about saying, you know, arrest people that burn the flag? They got free speech to do it. The point is, is that the left trying to take everybody's free speech right now. We can't let Trump sink to their level and do that as well. I'm not a left winger or a right winger. I'm a populist. I'm an Americana. I'm a Renaissance supporter. That doesn't mean I'm a Renaissance man, even though, look what, what we've done. We are Renaissance folks. Thanks for your support. I mean, Renaissance, the New Enlightenment. Look it up. Learn about Sir Francis Bacon. Learn about the New America, the New Atlantis. These are real plans they hatched 400 years ago, and we're living it now thanks to these great men and women. Okay, I'm going to be live again in about 40 minutes at InfoWars.com. Everybody knows that, in closing, that there are seven states that almost passed laws or passed laws that went to governor's desks in California and Illinois last year to let illegals vote. States like California and Nevada let people just check a box their citizens with no proof and vote. 
Democrats have been caught on tape many that's their plan. So to say that we're liars and that Trump's crazy is why you're so politically dead. So you think you failed because you tripled down on your lies. You failed because even when you tell the truth, people don't believe you now. You're what we call discredited jokes. You're paid for mercenaries. I know who you are. But the people that buy your, your dope, your heroin, your opiate, are real victims. And let me tell you something. Hillary was pure evil and dangerous and bad. I don't normally go for lesser two evils. Trump's got his issues. Got this new thing about, you know, the American flag and all of it. A lot of that's just rhetoric. I, you know, I get it. But it's still, with all the censorship going on, look at the press. We knew an hour in it was a Somali Muslim with a machete, a butcher knife. Four hours later, they were still saying it was guns. They don't let a good crisis go to waste. They're still saying they don't know a motive. It's a freaking jihadi. Almost all these t attacks in the Midwest are jihadis being brought in from Somalia. Their entire culture is about conquering everybody they're around. Not against Somalis, they admit they want to conquer us. I don't want to be conquered. Now they have articles out saying I'm disinfo, saying it was an Islamic attack. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something right now. Buckley is wearing a brown jacket, okay? I don't care what CNN says. He's got red lens glasses. Pat's wearing Lululemon gray. Dappled. There's this one guy saying, why didn't Obama encourage illegals to vote? Just, Obama did go on national television and say, we're not going to stop you from voting. Voting makes you a citizen. All right, Infowars.com forward slash show. Spread that link. We're live in T minus 37 minutes. And uh, on affiliates across the country, dominating the mainstream media, the fake media, breaking their back is the key to winning this war. Also Google, Congress legalizes propaganda in the U.S. They learn about the CIA admittedly running mainstream media and putting out fake news. It's, it's the Washington Post even admitted it three years ago. Learn the truth. Stop being chumps. Cut through your cognitive dissonance. And I'm, like, I'm not talking to our viewers and listeners. I'm talking to the large numbers of people that think this is a joke and it's funny. Michael Moore having six bodyguards saying you can't have a gun is what's sick. Infowars.com forward slash show. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese style net censorship was coming to the web because it's already here. It's being announced. The way you keep the Internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to Infowars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight. Infowars Live available right now. We're looking for a crew to manage. You going to sit down and play games and be a trendy or are you going to be part of history? Don't sit by and let the Internet and free speech be stolen from you. Take action. That is an amazing work of art we've discovered. The surface of tea, hot tea. It's Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. And I am your host, Alex Jones. Coming up in about 45 minutes, we're going to be live on the radio at Infowars.com forward slash show. And over 230 plus affiliates across the country, a lot of them 50,000 waters. It's just a testament that we're now some of the biggest stations in the country from underground uh, to dominating. I I still love our mom and pops. Some stations like WBCR in Knoxville have been carrying me 16 years, 17 years. Uh, some stations in upstate New York, Dr. Wolf stations, you know, he's, he's passed, but his son runs them. They've been carrying us 18 years. So here's the Dr. Wolf, uh, a great uh, Christian Jewish American who really helped me early on get the word out. Now, there's a lot of angles to cover here, obviously, but here's the deal. The media keeps saying Trump's following my talking points. No, he's not. Trump's following the truth. He's advised by top experts, generals, Steve Bannon, you name it. 